Grades are in from statewide testing in Oregon schools from last spring, and tonight the numbers, they're not looking too good. In fact, student performance on the test this year was the lowest in five years. Our Lisa Balick digging deeper into this report. Lisa, you took a look at a district that's doing better than most districts? Yeah, we decided to go out to McMinnville, where their low-income students are doing much better than any other low-income students around the state. $1. At Dunaway Middle School in McMinnville, math class this afternoon involved lots of collaboration for students, not just with the teacher, but with each other. School leaders say it's one reason low-income students here are doing better than in most other Oregon school districts. Almost 50% tested proficient in math, and they also did well on the reading portion of the tests. I asked, how are they making this happen? At elementary, it might look like they have a regular math time in the morning, and that's when they're getting their grade level content with everybody else. And then there's another time in the afternoon, um, or you know, a, a different time, that they would be getting um, exactly what they need to meet their errors and misconceptions. But the district knows there's still a long way to go to help the students get to where they all need to be. The test information will be used to help schools as they decide where to spend some of the Student Success Act money coming from a new statewide business tax that was approved by lawmakers this summer. The superintendent here makes smaller class sizes in the younger grades a priority. Is it a factor? Absolutely it is. Is it the only factor? No. But is it a critical factor in the perception of staff in terms of their own effectiveness and the perception of parents as the effectiveness in the classroom and the time teachers have to work with kids? It makes a difference. Portland schools did not have someone to talk on camera today, but we did learn the district is planning to have a new math series next year and is working on more individualized instruction for their middle school students. Now, also of note, close to 20 thousand students around the state opted out of those tests both in math and reading. As far as improvement, will districts have to get a plan to the state by November? Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Quinn 6 News. Uh,